folks. My first guest this evening is an Academy Award-nominated actor you know from Reservoir Dogs, National Treasure, and The Irishman. He now stars in the new film, Lansky. They accused me of making a president. Now, I don't know Mr. Nixon any more than what I've read in the newspapers. They claim I have 50% of Lebanon casinos, 50% of Monte Carlo. Now, how ridiculous can we really get? Mr. Lansky, is there such a thing as organized crime? I have no knowledge on the subject. Please welcome to The Late Show, Harvey Keitel. Thanks for being here. You're not Ed Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Harvey, you've had an amazing career. The, the, the movies I named, of course, uh, also Taxi Driver, The Piano, Smoke, Your National Treasures. <laughs> your, your variety of your national treasures. <laughs> <laughs> named, of course, because it contains national treasure, Hyver Keitel. Now, uh, how did you first get interested in acting? Well, I was working for the city of New York at the time. I was, it was like out of a Kafka novel. I was a city employee. And this uh, very handsome Greek guy I worked with said, do you want to see me about acting lessons? And I said, okay, you know. <laughs> so I was just at, out of the Marine Corps like just a couple of years at that time. I so you'd, I said, you'd been in the Marines, and then what were you doing for the city? I was a court stenographer for the city. A court stenographer, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I said, okay. He takes me to this place. We walk into this building on 23rd Street and like 5th Avenue. Mm -hmm. And we walk in and the building, the staircase was like tilted. It was like a slum. You know, we walked up like five flights of stairs, opens the door and to this huge loft. And there's a desk there and this guy sitting behind the desk. He looked a little dirty and dusty, you know. <laughs> so we walk over to him and we start to talk. Uh, about acting. And I'm sitting there, you know, I didn't, I didn't know from acting. I just didn't know. And uh, my friend decided to leave. He said, Harvey, I'm going to go. This was too sketchy for him? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, I'm going to stay. So I stayed. And uh, uh, so the guy says to me, you see that coat rack over there? I said, yeah. He says, well, go over and count all those hangers. How many do you think there are? I said, well, uh, okay. I walked over. I started counting them. I came back. He said, did you count them? I said, uh, yeah. He said, how many are there? I said, uh, like 60. He said, did you count every one of them? I, I thought he was putting me on, you know, because I was, you know, I, I just didn't know. I wanted to hit him. <laughs> I said, uh, no, I didn't count every one of them. He said, well, go back and count everyone. <laughs> because acting is doing things truthfully with a purpose. And that was the first acting lesson I ever had. Wow. What do you think? I, I've always been curious. I, I, I taught improvisation when I was younger, when I was a young improv comedian. I used to say to the, the people I was teaching, I said, you know, the real thing is that I, I'm not so much teaching you something right now is that I am revealing to you through these exercises your ability to do it. You yeah. know, like I'm not actually giving it to you. I'm revealing your own talent. What do you think the purpose of acting uh, classes are? To bring you in closer contact with you, who you are, and the character you're playing. Hmm. And the improvisation is really best for that because you're forced into yourself without having lines what you're going to say is going to come purely from yourself. No. Um, you have a knack for spotting um, uh, emerging talent, especially in directors. You, you quite famously have been in the first movies of some brilliant directors. Uh, Scorsese, 
Ridley Scott, Paul Schrader, Quentin Tarantino, among others. Is there something common in your mind to first-time directors, great first-time directors? There's some, is there some commonality seen between like Tarantino or Scorsese, Paul Schrader? And Somebody asked me that question once, and um, all I could s describe it as was, you know that party that you went to, you walked in and it was packed with people, and you saw that one girl, and you said, that's the one. That's what it was like meeting these directors that you're talking about. Jane Campion amongst them, sure. almost her first film. Just something, um, uh, it's sort of, you can't put a handle on it. It's something that takes place between you and that girl. Is, is, there, what, is there something that you think that all of these same directors see in you? Like, what is the essence of Harvey Keitel from a director's point of view? Maybe they saw in me the same girl. <laughs> we have to take a quick break, uh, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Harvey Keitel.